Hi, it's T. Michelle Birdsong in New York City. Mainstreaming cl clues to the marginalized. Short, main the marge. These are must-see videos. I saw, <coughs> I saw these videos, and I got so excited about sharing them with you. So I'll give you the names of them. This is called Climate Alarmists are moving the goalposts to scare you into submission. Okay, and that's a, this is a very good one. Yes, I remember it now. It's at the Press for Truth channel. And um, they talk, it's an interview with James Corbett, who's uh, CorbettReport.com. He's out of Japan, he's an American. And he's very knowledgeable. And uh, they mention you check out the uh, Club of Rome. dot com. Uh, I wrote that down because uh, David Ike said the same thing. <coughs> it's one of the uh, globalist organizations. So you got that. Climate alarmists are moving the goalposts to scare you into submission. That's what you Google to get this excellent and very, very informative video. Okay, the next one is a David Icke video. It's called My Awakening. It's on the James English channel. And it talks about David Icke and how he got into being, doing this research for 30 years. <laughs> and how he has this... Uh, rare information, but crucial information as to our survival. Okay, so it's called David Icke's My Awakening. Check that out for sure. Okay, another one. Oh, this is good too. This is very good. I remember this. The Constitution is Worthless. Is it the High Impact Vlogs channel? And the guy that does this um, channel is very real, very honest, very upfront. And somebody mentions what I know on this video and it said, The Constitution has been worthless since the Act of 1871. And that is true. And you can Google the Act of 1871 signed into law by Ulysses S. Grant. Okay, and he mentions um, Ron Paul had a sign on his desk, Don't Steal the Government Hates Competition. Yes, that don't steal because the government hates competition. So again, this is a very revealing video okay so this is an easy title to remember the constitution is worthless you know because the united states is not a constitutional republic anymore it's a corporation and if you think about it that makes sense it's not for the people it's not the united states of America. It's not the United States for America anymore. It's the United States of America. Okay, and this is re this is really good. Check this out. Okay, another video. The, oh, another one. This is good. This guy used to be a CIA operative, so he had, he's an insider. This is insider information. And it's the name of the video is Kevin Shipp, Brutal Deep State War Inside the U.S. Government. Okay, there is a brutal war going on by the deep state inside the U.S. Government. And Kevin Shipp knows all about it. I guess you'd call him a whistleblower. And it's at the usawatchdog.com present this. And it's at the Greg Hunter channel. 
All right, you got that. That's kind of a long title. You want to write it down? Kevin Shipp, Brutal Deep State War Inside the U.S. Government. That's what you Google to get to this video. And um, he said, I think it was Greg who said, I love the president's tweets. And I wrote it down because I love the president's tweets too. And he said, the gov Chinese government gave Hunter Biden $1.8 billion, not million, billion dollars. Okay. And then it, this is uh, the so-called whistleblower who is not a whistleblower because he secretly met with the staff of Adam Schiff. Okay, so he's not a whistleblower. He's a, he's a, he's a player, an operative. And his name is Eric Charmiller. That's the name they don't want mentioned because he's known as a whistleblower, but he's not a whistleblower. He doesn't get the protection of a whistleblower. He's just another co, uh, uh, deep state Democratic Party operative. And uh, he engaged in a false action against the President of the United States. Director Haskell, his boss, is supporting him. She should have fired him. She answers to the, she serves at the pleasure of the president. Okay. But she's supporting him, being disloyal to the president. Okay, and then uh, Ship said there will be voter fraud in 2020 election and he said Trump's support has grown exponentially I think we all know that uh, he said Mayor Pete has deep connections to the CIA to Wall Street he's a deep state candidate Mayor Pete was about act so innocent uh -huh. And then uh, Greg Hunter and uh, Kevin Shipp said, get your own farm if you can afford it. Get your own source of food. In other words, grow your own food so you'll know what you're getting. And dig a well so you can have your own source of water. Or if you can, uh, generate... Um, primary water which is underground and then um, they mentioned this guy Rick Austin who's an expert of off the grid living and um, Kevin Shipp said if you can't get your own farm get six months of freeze dried food and a way to sterilize water. And Kevin Schiff's, Schiff's book is called From the Company of Shadows. Okay, let's move right along. Another video. This is good. Oh, this is very good. This is called Trump and Matt Gates Obliterate the Left with Humor and with facts and this is presented at the black conservative channel and um, he's on the view Matt Gates and he's one of the he's the only person I've ever seen who just really triumphs over those uh, ill-informed women they said Joy Behar is a comedian how could she be a comedian? She never says anything funny. Uh, okay, but he, he holds his own. It's a pleasure to watch him be so able not to be cowed by those women. He's, he's good. I admire him. He's from Florida, congressman from Florida. Okay. 
video, Gingrich, Bernie Sanders is the true Democratic Party. Okay, this is Newt Gingrich, who used to be the Speaker of the House. He's a very smart man, and uh, he explains why this is true. And Bernie Sanders is a true Democratic Party. You know, he's, he's, he's very analytical. This is a very informative video. Okay, this one's good. Episode 1186. The Russian hoax returns. The Dan Bongino show. He said, the government gets its money from you. This is good. Uh, what I like about Dan Bongino is, he, he, you know, he lets his feelings show. You know, he, he, his, uh, he, he, he feels what he says. You know, he's not stoic. There's a place for stoicism. And there's a place for passion. And I, I like Dan Buns, you know. I watch him every day. Okay. You, you go, so you got the name of this one? Episode 1186, The Russian Hoax Returns. Do you believe that? <laughs> Just laughable, right? They're doing it again. <laughs> I've got a video. Down today we had down um, Maria Kott is a Russian a money manager here and she also prepared food for Fruit and Vegetable Friday group. And she she made some vegetarian curry. Oh, it was excellent. Now she put sweet potatoes in it and cauliflower and fennel and Oh, it was amazing flavor. Oh, American food is so bland, you know. But this had such flavor. And anyway, Dave said to her, Oh, the Russians are going to try to hoax our election again. He just he must have watched MSNBC or something. And she said, I don't believe that. And I said, I don't believe that either. And I said, and furthermore, they never proved that the Russians, they didn't find any evidence that the Russians had ha hacked um, our elections the last time, you know, so. Anyway, Maria had asked me to come down for a vegetarian group because I'm the only vegetarian here <laughs> at the St. Francis of Assisi Residence 3. And I did go and she said to me, you made my day. And I thought to myself, with this good food, you made my day. <laughs> food, eating good food, especially when you have an appetite, is such a pleasure, right? Sex is a pleasure with someone you love and, and know for a time and are familiar with, like your husband or your wife. And food is a pleasure. Your children are a pleasure. There are some really nice pleasures on the earth. Okay, now, oh, this, oh, I, I didn't realize I was going to, I was mesmerized by this video. It's called Chosen People Ministries, 125th Gala, and the speaker was Jay Seculo. I've always liked him, but I didn't realize how rich his talk would be. But it was so rich, I couldn't stop listening to it. And uh, he's Jewish, but he's a, he believes that Christ, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And so um, that was new for me. Because the chosen people are the black people. And the Jews, who call themselves the chosen people, are not the chosen people. They're Muslims from Turkey, I believe. J. Uh, David Ike said they are. So, um, but this worked for me. You know, if he thinks he's a chosen person, for, he is chosen. He's chosen by Jesus Christ because he's a follower of Jesus Christ. So that was interesting to me. He's chosen in in another sense of the word. His, you know, okay, and then this video was a really nice, fabulous surprise. 
J. Sekulow, in addition to being a lawyer, President Trump's lawyer, and uh, a lawyer who argues before the Supreme Court, he's a drummer. And I love musicians, you know. They spend that time alone concentrating and focusing and learning to make wonderful music. I admire musicians. My son, Sing Birdsong, is a guitar player. He's a musician. He was uh, Mozart in a previous life, and Jimi Hendrix, and George Gershwin, and a projection of Sly Stone, and a projection of Van Jalousia. Greek electronic music genius. <clears throat> okay, but so this is what surprised me. It's called the J. Seculo Band Rocks Out with the Huckabee Crowd. And, and Huckabee, Governor Huckabee, is playing bass. And I love the tune they, they're playing.